Chuck! Ugh. Guybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found them. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. Ah. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No bullet. Wow. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Good! You unlocked it! It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Returning the key. You want a medal? I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. I'm having these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner forever! What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? That's my friend D. Hey, D. Hey, Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed? They were used in cup. They started making then people in the current bow shaped But the old you can still find on a modern anchor. That's to prevent the little flanges. Most anchors the about 30. Oh, but the only the word anchor, they're called that. Yeah. <sighs> hey, Chucky. Want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way! You'll never catch up to my level. I win! I win! Uh-uh. <laughs> You guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. 
It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Ketchup. Whoops. Let's look for a four leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. I found one. Awesome. There was still one left. Darn. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. I wish for a cool plant. A plant? What a waste of a wish. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I take it back. That was the best. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding The Secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Feels good to be back on Melee Island. 
the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Streepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The Chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm going to hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's hard on softness. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are, exactly? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison? Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's, like, famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a prize of incalculable monetary value. I don't know about incalculable. Quick, who can count to zero the fastest? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> if you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes. The dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. <laughs> no, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. Uh, I like the old pirate leaders better.
the clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Absolutely. I'd love to be a swabby. Swabbing is one of my favorite things in the whole world. The restful, mindless repetition, the delicate scent of old soapy water, the proud satisfaction of a sparkling plank. Okay, okay. Save the strokes for the decks. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Andrew LeChuck, nephew. Oh, ballsy play, Andrew. LeChuck gave me a blacklist, and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry, can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. I brush Threepwood as I live and breathe. How have you been? Peachy. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Yeah, I screwed up our anniversary. Forgot the date? Remember the date? Forgot an important allergy. She's fully recovered. Well, tell her I say hello. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? A little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! 
I was hoping you'd turn up in this story. I was hoping you'd turn up in mine. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. Bye. Bye. Honoring Melee Island's 27th Governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Porto Bello. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. I'm going... I know of your desire to find the secret of Monkey Island. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Hmm. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card. Only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, Purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. Hey, 
Hey, Wally! Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. Bye. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Ooh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done! Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed. Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for LeChuck? I've had enough of you questioning my orders! Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board! Very well. Carla. Guy brush three wood. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. When was the last time you had a bath? Ha! That was marginally clever. It's nice to see you again. You too. How's the governorship treating you? It's not as straightforward as I'd hoped. For some reason, you can't just tell everyone what to do and assume they'll do it. That's new territory for me. Not for me. Maybe I should be governor. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? I'm not automatically involved with everything Elaine does just because we're married. I can see that. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money.
Dear Carla, Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I admire that you are hard on softness, as shown by your actions at Portobello. Please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog, for when words aren't enough. Dear Carla, I'm impressed, Guybrush. Surprisingly thoughtful, considering it's you. I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book, and I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. Can I borrow this cookbook? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. You look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called, or know what's in it, or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? Good news. I have a cookbook. I found this at the governor's mansion. Ah, the mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. to have one for each eye. If you say so. Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on though, and nothing happened. If one monocle is good, two is better. Ah, crystal clear. 
I'll just write that down. Tricky fight. Little prick wow! The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Take a shortcut back. Welcome to my shop. Hi. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. you have a parrot and only a few crackers. Would you like some cracker mix? Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Don't mind if I do. expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. But it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? What do you make of this eye patch? Ah, the fish. 
famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. Good. Great. So, can you charge it up again? I can. If... If... If you bring me one more thing, a particular charm of great power, you must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. Then I will recharge your eye patch. The bite of a thousand needles. Can you be a tiny bit more specific? No. All right. Let's see what I can do. There you go. Bite of a thousand needles. Tell me, is this an ancient powerful charm or simply a plant you found in the forest? You were pretty opaque about what you wanted, even for you. I took my best shot. Very well. You've always been the close enough sort. Thanks. Spirits of deception and death, drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. (laughs) No thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Ah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. Looks like this is going to be a long journey. Hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Yep. You look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's B-Y-O-M. So, show me a decent mop and the job's yours. Okay. I made a mop. I think I'm ready to set sail. How's this for a mop? Let's see. Stick, tangle a boat line. (laughs) Smells like seagull droppings. Eh, good enough. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem. We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. on the Chuck's ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab. 
But I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it. You work here. You sleep here. You take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before. This hold is your world. The hull is your ground. The deck is your sky. And I am your deity of choice. A cruel and vengeful deity. I only have one simple rule. You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Can I leave the hold? But no! What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. <laughs> Uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hold sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> yo ho, yo ho, pirate's life for me. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. <laughs> Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? Uh, yes, at a demonic skull party. I recall a clumsy bartender spilling a lava guavatini on my necktie. That must have been you. Necktie? And you plague me now just as before. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, withered zombie man. No problem. Looks like you missed a spot. Aww. I'll just put a little dab on there. Mr. Spark. Come on. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? Looks like you missed a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. I've got a good feeling about this, but I won't fit through with the mop. Ah, it's working. Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. <laughs> the map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, Obviously, we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? No, it doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. We've blended the squid ink, monkey's blood, mint, brimstone, live chicken, and my very last cinnamon stick, along with several preservatives and coloring agents. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent. You there, in the back, new guy. 
Hmm. You look familiar somehow. Do you ever go to swabby conventions? <laughs> well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Nope. Be quick about it then. Meeting adjourned. Finish the potion, and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Aha! You're out and about! Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. Hey. That is one revoltingly greasy portal. <laughs> I barely touched it. Let me apologize in advance. You're going to have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... Ah! I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. Hey, what are you... Next stop, Monkey Island. Swabby! Yeah. Why are you out of the old? You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And also... I... I can explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's teeth. Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know a chap like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But, as it turns out... There is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Hey! Hey, Plum Bay! Ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison! Ready the cannons! Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island! Okay. It's kind of a relief when I think about it. 
I feel vindicated knowing this was a simple betrayal, rather than a genuine lack of regard for my qualities. It could always be both. Dream big. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. Aha! They're missing a skull! I've got an idea. What? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, Swabby. I have an amazing idea. Does it involve mopping? No, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golet gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hole. Whoa, hang on. Why, I thought the whole point of this voyage was to go to Monkey Island. It was, but that was strictly LeChuck's idea. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush three board. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 <clears throat> Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. As Quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. As a big round box with a ribbon on it and the secret of Monkey Island inside? I don't know. That's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust. Commit fraud. Threaten bodily harm. So unswerving. So unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. No, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're going to vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. Working hard? Never. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. 
Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Uh, except when Putra makes it, unfortunately. She does not make it hot enough for my taste. Keep up the bad work. Always. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. That time again already? Well, let's get to it. Back straight, you shifty, feckless parasites! Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. A map's a map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need a unanimous vote from the crew. No problem. In conclusion, shape up or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass. All right, same time tomorrow then. Dismissed. Uh, Flair? Yes? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back. Right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. LeChuck threw Gullet over the side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> and I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. So, Putra. Chef, Putra. Please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never. But they should. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. Save your breath. I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this, too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Great. How come people don't call you chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. You! Swabby! Come over here! Ye be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? I Gouger the Reckless. Look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I likes an unquestioning crew. Now, 
Get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team-building exercise. I won't. What? Is this about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. Ghost rats. Ugh. It's revolting, and it's a slipping hazard. Go in. You. I'm assuming no one will actually <laughs> read this and come down here to find him. That's Flare Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. Disgraceful. It's like no one on this ship has heard of recycling. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? What? Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. I found your knife. My grandmother's knife. Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess the deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. Um, first swab. So, Chef. I don't suppose you know how to make scorched Alaska? Of course I can make scorched Alaska. I have to warn you, though, it's not going to be very spicy. Why's that? I'm totally out of demon pepper. It'll be fine. You wouldn't like the full strength version anyway. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska, extra mild. Thanks.
This should make it good and scorchy. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska, sweet poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. It sears me inside like a lost love, a masterpiece. I am in your debt. I hate being in debt, so uh, let's just say I'll vote your way next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Any good? Hilarious. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Hey, Bob. I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. One bell. Voting hour. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So then you went to Monkey Island. Almost. It was time to send Murray back to Madison. Somehow. Okay, Murray, I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are dangerous. me hearties, the fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course, but our top priority is the secret. <laughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Yes. Hey. All right. Great. <laughs> Oops. What? I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. I'm going to skewer you like a pig on a spit. You do fight more like a cook than a swordsman. Okay, decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all flavor, no saber. Well, your flavor is, uh, flavorless. Blast. <laughs> hey, cheating. I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one. Oh, I've been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby! Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's gotta be against the rules. You really 
should keep up on the latest trends. Goodbye, <laughs> Freepwood. <laughs> Good thing I can still hold my breath for ten minutes. More or less. Is it more, or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for ten minutes, but then sometimes you say eight. One time, I heard you say twelve. Which one is it? Well, in my prime, I could do ten minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes. Now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. Hello, Monkey Island. It's me, Guybrush. Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes. Tops. I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll keep this for my Shakespeare summer stock. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about getting you mixed up in this. Oh, it's just a weird looking skull. I'll keep this for no reason. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. You? I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. Ooh, my mistake. See you later. Don't wait. Hold, hold me joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. How did you get stuck on the rudder? I was just doing my job, breaking in a new swab. That's not bad. Lob, fob, gob. Oh, gob. Gob could work. Anyway, let's just say that upper management took exception to my methods. Here I am. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it, it, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, but they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well... I am stuck in a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Septicemia. Blank verse, then. I suppose other poets do get away with that sometimes. All right, then. I also need an idea for something that grows. Resentment. I think that fits. How about a rhyme for black? Orange. Orange. Very avant-garde. <laughs> I would never have dared, but you're giving me courage. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up now. I've got a friend who edits a paper. He might be interested in your poetry. That, that'd be fantastic. But uh, I'm a little inconvenienced at the moment, you know, stuck on the rudder and all that. <laughs> Maybe you could uh, show my work to your editor friend? I'd be happy to do that. And, uh, and, uh, let's just keep this a secret between us, if you don't mind. Hmm? Mum's the word until they're announced.
You! Uh, hi. You're not welcome on this ship, Threepwood. Oh! Murray? Is that you? I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. Oh, it's just a soaked skull. I'll keep this for my Skull Club meetup. Secret this way. That's pretty straightforward, which I appreciate. What an amazing stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret with. Whoa! That's not LeChuck. LeChuck is a greenish, shouty guy with a beard and a big hat. This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets, but I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait! I know plenty of LeChuck's secrets. Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? How about his lookout's favorite food? I know that one. Not helpful. Ugh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. Don't start with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. As part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. You could just ask him? Ugh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. We could search his ship for information while he's gone? We thought of that, but the ship's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. Well, not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship? Probably. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer and I won't make it again, in or out. I accept. No way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double-cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double-cross them before they could double-cross me. Triple-cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool! Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey head if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. Uh, remind me again when we get rid of Threepwood. You have the memory of a gnat with a concussion. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it, that's all. Once we find the secret, you can have him. Ha! They won't get the chance. As soon as the map is visible, I'm grabbing it and getting out of here. Hey, partners. Hey, 
partner. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Yeah, I ran into some trouble boarding the ship. Is it the enchantment keeping you off? Good news! We get to kill him after all. No, that's not it. I lost my eye patch disguise, so the crew knows it's me, and they won't let me back on. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Oh, I already found a secret thing from one of the crew. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? Septicemia and twisting worms. I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. It's drivel. It's perfect! Qui doloram ipsum, quia dolor sitamet. Ooh! Nisiuta liquifexia comedo consequat. Exceptor sin docecat, cupidetat non proident. Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Thanks! Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, will do. This can't be right! Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. Not since my college days. And then I was just experimenting. That's not important right now. Someone messed up, and I think I know who. Body! <laughs> Septicemia and twisting worms. Ideas fill my head. The poems flow as resentment grows, creatively undead. Permission to come aboard? Go it. I thought we'd lost you. Sorry to disappoint you. Am I that obvious? Note to self, practice people skills. Your voice sounds funny. Uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I've almost finished the piece I was working on, and I want to get back to it. It's me, Gullet. Why would you trust me with that? Because you know if you screw it up, I'll stab you again. You tough old slab of crocodile meat! Somehow I knew you'd make it back! Can I fix you something to eat? Well, I'll have whatever LeChuck's having. LeChuck's on the island, looking for the big secret. You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite dish? Don't tease me by trying to take an interest. You've never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash? You're the best chef I've ever known. Chef? You called me chef? In all the years you've known me, you've never done that before. I don't know what happened while you were overboard, but I like this change in you. Uh, what was it you wanted to know about? The Chuck's favorite food. Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, a classic. 
Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? Sorry, I'm all out of the main ingredient. Could you make tentacles with daisy sauce with this? That's a nice one. Have it for you in a jiff. Bon appetit. That's it? Sometimes simple is best. Going on. I don't like being interrupted. I don't know. Someone rang the bell. Oh. It's sheet music. A jaunty little tune like this would be great at parties. Well, I'm not waiting around any longer. I've got work to do. Waste of time. Hope my soup didn't burn. I think I'll use my second favorite cutlass. I don't want to ding up the best one. Are you still talking about Threepwood? Possibly. I respect that. Betrayal always gives me goosebumps. Good thing I'm gonna strike first. Hey, partner. Threepwood! I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas.
promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Laboris nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say LeChuck's catchphrase. Brandish. The quivering. Cutlasses. Quis atem vel veleptate velit. Now, eat LeChuck's favorite food. Oof. Okay. Lines on it. It's working. Wow, this dark magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Noted. Oh. And now good riddance to Murray, the annoying demonic skull. Wait, I have a family. Good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Odd, it was just in my pocket. Never mind. I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. It came from over here, somewhere. What the? Threepwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. I always knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck! It's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> I think my pancreas is broken. Possibly also my spleen and my gallbladder. Whatever that is. Hello? Is someone here? Guybrush! Oh no! Are you okay? Uh, it only hurts when I breathe. Still, best to keep that up, I think. If I have to. What are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here? It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. Uh, this whole voyage has been a disaster. Nothing but humiliation, physical danger, and humiliating physical danger. I keep losing sword fights. I got thrown off a ship and thrown off a cliff on the same day. I got caught in a snare trap meant for LeChuck. My own fault. I had a map. There was an X and a shovel. You didn't find that suspicious? Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. 
come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Did someone say that? Hello? Murray! Is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island! Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? Well, what about all the things you just said? We better hurry if we're gonna get there first. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship! Your old ship, I mean. The sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. That wreck is the sea monkey? I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? Fantastic. Thank you. Race you to the ship! Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. Come on, Murray. You got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump. Maybe. Wait, not the pocket. Slowpoke, you had a head start. We did what we could with the materials at hand. Oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. <laughs> I've been searching for the secret since before you were born! That's exactly my point! Finding the secret is a young pirate's game! Years of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine! Only if you don't have a heart attack first! Ah! Last chance to give it up! Then we obliterate you! Get off my ocean! I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I am still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and 
we join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Am I too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? You've had it all this time! I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? Where's the secret? It is inside the large safe near the front door, of course. Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Uh. But there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her, and she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers, but I make no promises. Ah! You found the secret. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Are you the one who knows about the keys? More than most. I am Wideling Bones. Widey. Like you, the hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you, I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys, hidden long ago. Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secrets always been in the safe. Uh-huh. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also, I heard one was found on Bermuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on. I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also... Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big exit. Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Hey, Wally. Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. What are you drinking? Soda with a twist of avocado. It might be a little fizzy for your grog palate. Oh, sounds exotic. Not done with my drink. Welcome to the God's Wallop. Thanks. 
we feature the freshest fish on the block and the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gabber Streetwood. Ah, I thought when we spotted him skulking around mm. town that he looked passing familiar. How come you retired from pirate leadering? Well now, sometimes retirement is not so much a choice as a thing that settles upon you. Like being becalmed at sea. But it's allowed us to open this place and pursue our passion for fishing. So perhaps less like a calm and more like a strong wind blowing in a particular direction. Have a look around, why don't you? Gross. Looks like day-old avocado soup. <laughs> Not done with my drink. Hello. That was refreshing. Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're excellent for burping contests. Care to join us? Don't mind if I do. Winner gets to keep the blowfish. Absolute ripper! I hereby declare you the winner! The blowfish is yours! What are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Easy to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. I'd like to buy some lump suckers. Cute little fellas, aren't they? Here's a box full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. That flag with all the holes in it. Quite proud of that. We caught it up in a fishing net one day. Tis one of the signature flags of Bella Fisher herself. Bella Fisher? That was Bella Fisher's flag? That's what I said, yes. Is the flag for sale? Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The Chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Can I join the Chums? Well... Please? Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can, then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. Welcome back. Hiya. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. Have you heard of the Golden Keys? Sure. My mother had one of them. Had? She left it to me in her will. 
I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. When my mother died, her personal possessions went into probate with the court. When they came out of probate, I was still too devastated to claim them. As you can see from this letter the court sent, they and the key have been destroyed. Well, this is an unexpected wrinkle. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Does someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Some other time. I can tell it's early in your training. Find some other members of the chums, and they'll help you hone your skills. Okay. Hey. Thanks, Carla. Good luck. Guybrush. Hi. I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Let's talk later. Okay. Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically handing out IOUs. Can I get in on some of that sweet, sweet disaster relief? I already told you there's no money. I'm handing out IOUs. I'll take what I can get. Fine. It's not real money anyway. I have to list a purpose, so... What's it for? I want to rebuild local businesses. I'm sure you'll have public support on that one. This is just a promise from the town to back your relief project at a later date. Don't get too excited. supposed to be unlocked? I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Looking good. They were all in on it. But Threepwood was the ringleader. First he's banging me and the other skulls around with a femur, forcing us to sing musical notes against our will. Then he's shouting nonsense like a drunk parrot, and he takes a bite out of a squid's arm. Right after that, that's when the earthquake started. Still, it could be a coincidence. You find a shark in your swimming pool, that's not a coincidence. Stan's building collapsed. This place looks like an earthquake hit it. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. Seems like it might come in handy somewhere, and I'm sure no one will miss it. say if I told you the governor authorized funds for the rebuilding of the scum bar at an unspecified future date. She did? That's fantastic. I'll have a sunken area that catches grog spills for recycling and a medical triage room. Excuse me, lots to plan. It's only slightly singed. Carla might not even notice. 
okay if I take this cookbook back now? Sure, sure, of course. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time, my ship was swallowed by a whale. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. You know, what your story needs, it's a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Okay then, your story's not bad. But it's missing a few things. Find some other chums to help you fill in the gaps. I'll do that. Thanks for returning my book. Maybe you have learned to be responsible. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. You're right. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop uh, it. Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Hello? Anyone up there patrolling the deck? Ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now. Thanks. So far, so good. Hey, Bob. Would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting. And long. Here's your joke book back. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. 
I say there was a majestic fish, glistening like liquid silver, dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Good luck. I can see you're developing your flight feathers. Keep talking to other chums and you'll really learn to soar. I'll do that. I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow some demon fire. Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. Elaine? Are you decent? Hello? Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I sat for this portrait, too. Hi, I'm working due east of the lighthouse and due south of Parrot Rock today. sure has been busy. These groves go on forever. Hi. Hi. I got the note you left me. The what? It said where you were working today. Oh, that. I wasn't sure you were coming. But I'm glad you found me. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? There was a complication. Isn't there always? A big, heavy, rectangular complication with five keyholes and a secret inside. Well, that sounds daunting. What about LeChuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see. But people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict, but as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know, I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush! You've joined the chums! I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Okay, this could be a whole new path for you, Guybrush. You know who you should talk to? Antonio Plank. He guards the ice quarry on Bermuda. Really knows his stuff. Thanks. 
Can you spare any limes? You can take a few. Like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. Where do I find the mint groves? That ought to give it some zip. This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. It's not one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. Looks like someone forgot to pick. Y Z Z Y. Wow, neat! It's magic. It looks really deep. Okay, here goes. Finish the grand tour. It's a golden key. No touching. Let 
let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So, get me out of here, and then I'll let you have the key. If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterward. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. Just give me the key already. No! Give me the key! No! Oops. I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Well, that wasn't so hard. What happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. Halt, ship. If, if that's what you can call that. I made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Here, look, I have limes, see? To proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Mr. Elaine Marley. Fill this out and be completely honest. Right? Let's see how you've done. You forgot to check that you're carrying limes. I'll check that for you. Hmm. Good answer. Good penmanship. Not checking that was smart. Okay. This looks in order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. Freeport! Alive? How is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Threepwood. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the key. We have a better way. Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a bosun's armpit. I made a fishing line with my own hair. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic-sounding fish stories 
always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with the hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. All right, you might have reached your limit. I suggest you cast your line at the fish shop on Mele. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend stand together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. He's a prisoner here. Did you come to see him? Yes, please. Okay. But no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. All clear. You know, Stan? Keep on walking. You'll find him. Hey, Stan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? Some sort of a sales pitch, I expect. Pitches are for baseball, son. I make introductions. I'm like a matchmaker between you and your future. I want you to consider these two words. Ice, sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength. Stan, not today. Don't wait too long. They're selling like hotcakes. How about I bust you out of here? I might or might not know a competent locksmith who could take care of those shackles. Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me they never caught on to my pyramid scheme or I'd probably be doing 10 years. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. Elaine and I could use some marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. Sometimes people don't know what they want even when they want it. You got any promotional materials? Elaine made this pamphlet. I see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this blather. It's a little dry. Well, it's got facts in it. Worse than that, scientific facts. I'll need to meet with her to iron this out. Can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? No, no, that won't do. Things get lost in translation. A whinny isn't a whinny if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. No shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. It looks like a secret escape tunnel. fire, melting ice, very hoogly. Welcome, loyal subject. 
These matches are specially formulated for freezing temperatures. Disclaimer, will not light underwater. Your queenliness? <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. Your guy brush three foot, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. From when she was governor of Melee? That was before I won my throne, but she does keep her hand in. And both feet. What brings you north of the 19th parallel, Guybrush? Your crown, as a matter of fact. Ha! <laughs> Get in line. Everybody wants the crown. Everybody? The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Can I borrow it? Nice try. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Become queen? Interesting. Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it. Win it. Wrest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. The contests test your heartiness your seriousness, and your intelligence. Three trials. It's just like becoming a pirate. It's nothing like becoming a pirate. Well, except for the three trials part. Contests. They're contests. I challenge you to the contest of heartiness. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Dios mio! Another challenge! Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the Contest of Heartiness. <laughs> As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently consume more raw fish than your opponent. Today's challenge fish is Toadfish. Wait a moment! The bucket of plenty contains no plenty! There are no fish here whatsoever! And the contest cannot be held without fish! Everyone go home! Hello. What are these blobby guys? Toadfish. Surprisingly, no relation to actual mm. toads. I'd like to trade my fish in for some toadfish. Fresh off the boat. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, 
my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby declare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. Is it all right if I take this flag with me? That would be within your rights as a well-respected mm. chum of the highest order. Seriously? Be sure to treat it nice. It doesn't need more holes than it's got already. Like this? It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Make do things? How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but. But what? Who was it? Well, a uh, coincidence. Welcome back. Hiya. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah. They've been in my family for generations. I could see you! How did you find me? I just sailed up and here you were. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Are you alone? At the moment. Thank goodness! I'm Ned Filigree, Accountant. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. Who is it you're afraid of? Well, have you heard of Stan as Stanman? The name sounds familiar. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, long time. I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. Easy, Ned. He's not coming. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh no! Take these records! Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda! They'll know what to do with them! It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get ten years at a minimum. I take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh goodness! That ought to give it some zip. Ooh, a challenge. 
in the defender's chair, the cast iron stomach of Othina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion. <laughs> And in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood, AKA Mr. Elaine Marley. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. And now, let the eating commence. <laughs> Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now? Uh, yes, you can stop if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion of hardiness with two bites to the Queen Squad is Mr. Threepwood! One contest down, two to go. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you. Assuming you're real, of course. Just because I can see it doesn't necessarily mean you're real. Case in point. You'll never guess who I thought was here in the cave stealing my golden key. But then he just vanished. Which is something hallucinations do that real people generally don't. Come to think of it though, uh, where is that key? I, I had it right here. And there aren't that many places it could have gone. Welcome, Your Majesty, and Mr. Marley slash Threepwood to the Contest of Intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. You are to solve it as completely as you can and remember to show your work. No peeking, no copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. No copying. Time's up. I'll take your papers. Hmm. Hmm? I am most surprised by this, but the evidence is clear. Mr. Threepwood is the winner. But how is that possible? Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see the difficulty I'm having. I can. Better luck next time. Only one more contest to go. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present, for only the 11th time this week, the Contest of Seriousness. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> on this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger, Mr. Elaine Marley, a.k.a. Guybrush Threepwood, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. It'll take more than that to crack me up. What do you call a demon who is always on fire? Burn E! <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Guybrush Threepwood. Where did you get that book? I'm uh, confiscating this. Citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Elaine Marley, a.k.a. Guy Bruce Threepwood, has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Will there be food that isn't raw fish? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Why not? And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? Of course. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? That. Okay, I guess so. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? No problem. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. You want my advice. Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I'm off to write my memoirs. <gasps> oh! <laughs> um... As your queen... I've decided to reshape the government as a worker-owned collective. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. And you get one. And you! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. So, the Swabi says, the map or the bucket? <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. That's idiotic. Are you insulting me or me mama? Yes. <laughs> now this seems worthwhile. I submit these official-looking documents to the court, seeking a reprieve from destruction. Order! Order in the court! Upon review of said order, the court finds that due to procedural backlog, the listed items have not been destroyed. Except for the fancy box that Brad from accounting took. The legality of the aforementioned document having been presented is verified. Presenting pleadant may therefore take possession of said items. I have no idea what you just said, but thanks for the key. Order! Order in the court! Outbursts of thanks will not be tolerated. There is a lot of junk in here, but I think I see the evidence that will lock Stan up for a long, long time. Your Honor, I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that net filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. I can swear like a sailor, if that helps. Order! Order in the court! Opposing counsel will refrain from vulgar language in this court. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree, 
This court can establish vis-a-vis -vis customs documents that your name is actually Mr. Elaine Marley, a.k.a. Guybrush Threepwood. If I don't get order, I will clear the court. The court can only accept said documents when accompanied by a sworn affidavit of the person who is legally net filigree. Court is adjourned. This should clear up any issues about who I am. Do you hereby swear under oath and penalty of incarceration that you are net filigree and the documents you are submitting are true and legal? Damn straight. Order. Order in the court. There will be no more outburst of profanity in this courtroom. In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh no, I can do a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. Yes, I want to take you to talk to Elaine about the limes. There's a handy tunnel over there where Chisel Pete escaped a few days ago. I'm so glad you could come, Mr. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. We'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. We need something with sizzle, with edge, like razor bombs or sour bombs or something. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline issues. What do you think? Death glows. I like it, I like it. You've got a future, son. Your promo flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. We want snake oil, crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie, they imply. Guybrush, if Death Globes could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? Find the secret of Monkey Island. Guybrush! That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Flying? Great, let's go with that. No one's going to believe that limes can make you fly. Not literally, but in their hearts they will. Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Get cold, or go dark, or take that! Those don't mean anything. Don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Hmm. Bite these. Almost too meaningful, but I think we can work with it. This is your new flyer. Show people this, and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price, firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. What? Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely sensing some bull here, if you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. I'll just borrow this for a little while. I'll make this quick. I don't know when LeChuck's coming back. I wonder what it's made out of. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? Uh, 
I'm debating whether to include this story in my memoirs right about now. Ahoy! Ahoy! Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. You should try limes. They help prevent scurvy. Where did you hear that? You need to leave before you catch scurvy. I have some exciting scurvy news for you. Read this. Death Groves, a new amazing miracle fruit. Uh, regrows hair, removes belly fat, ho oh, oh, also cures scurvy. Fantastic! Have you got any of these miracle death globes? Sure thing, right here. These little green guys. You're sure there's no science in them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. We're saved! Bite these, and welcome aboard! The holes of the three flags line up and show one exact location. I'll mark it with an X. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret... <laughs> is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes. It will be! This is certainly exciting. Watch out below! This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. My lungs are full of delicious air again. Shop, here I come.
Reapwood has all the keys? That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can't say the same for you, however. Aw, you're betraying me? I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. Are we... It's cheesier than I imagined, but still beautiful. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. Now there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. This is not a problem. Just keep telling yourself that, Guybrush. Three four. Ah. Lechuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end. With just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepwood. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me, and count to a hundred before you leave the building. A hundred. Guybrush! Whiteybone said she saw you come in. Are you alright? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The truck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. That did seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. I'll definitely have to take notes next time. Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. Whatever. That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to mention the trail of destruction you've left in your wake. You know what they say about omelets and eggs. Well, I haven't seen the omelet yet. Just a lot of eggs. The omelet is the secret of Monkey Island. And I don't know that I'd say lots of eggs. A few eggs. Odina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. 
Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. That's quite impressive. Even for you. Eh, the crown was flimsy. It just fell apart. Someone who was there described you as straining so hard she thought you might tear your own arm off. But maybe she was exaggerating. Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. It's the contest of intelligence, not the contest of algebra. I proved my intelligence by cheating successfully. You are very clever. Incidentally, I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. I thought something felt different this morning. But I was talking about breaking eggs. Did you know the Museum of Pirate Law has shut down? You don't say. Two of its prize exhibits went missing. Curiously, there was only one name in the guest book. Yeah, it wasn't a very good museum anyway. The guy doesn't get his facts right. Conrad Lee is a nice young man who tries hard. But he'll land on his feet. I hear he's going to open a training school for attack parrots. Well, I hope he doesn't hold a grudge. Herman Toothrot is also a little upset with you. He says you took his key and left him in a dark cave. The magic sign only works with one person, and I didn't have any way to know that in advance. Well, you'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. I am happy to know that. Thanks. Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just... I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. What exactly are you expecting to find? I have no idea. That's why it's so important that I find it. Well, be careful what you wish for. Here we go. Just like old times. Are you ready for the caverns? Uh, I remember them. There are mushrooms. Big ones. Oh, Guybrush. Even in the caverns, probably only 80% of those are deadly poison. How about I remove your liver so you don't have to worry about it? Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. I'll catch up. Bombay, you're awake. Not for long. I'm just here to tell you that you are making a mistake. The Chuck's obsession consumes him like a frog swallowing a tarantula. You don't want to be there when he opens that chest. Correct. I want to be there before he opens it. Ugh, you two deserve each other. Yeah, that's right. Run! Can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. Okay, here goes. Phew. LaChuck, I'm coming for you! I'm coming for you! Huh? Damn you, Threepwood! I should have gotten rid of you the first 58 times I had the chance. You will never make it down here alive. Just once I want this to be easy. Only the organized pirate will pass. It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone.
Lachuk, the secret will never be yours. I hate solving puzzles more than I hate Streepwood. The secret will never be yours. Ah! Threepwood, won't you ever give up and just go home? Once is a coincidence, twice is suspicious. Only the observant pirate will pass. Chuck, the secret is mine. You really do suck at puzzles, don't you? How are you still alive? You will never have the secret. I will soon have my revenge. Then you will forever be cursed. And you will never escape. You will vanish with no tails. No, I will return. The secret is mine. Third time be a charm, three weed. Next time, I keep my voice down. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. seems to have fallen off during the rumbling. There's some writing on it. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck, and they met Davy Jones for some tea. After all I've been through, finding some limericks on a piece of stone sinking into the lava isn't all that strange.
I was just deep in the mushroom and lava-ridden caves under Monkey Island, and now I'm... Oh, no. Not yet. Glad you finally made it, kid. What, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Guybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. That was disappointingly easy. I wonder what's going on. Interesting. I found the secret of Monkey Island, and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say I made my point. How did you get here before me? You know I always try to stay a step ahead. I'm ready to go. Good. Me too. sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2. Really silly. That's different. We're kids and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. You have to tell me what you really found in the chest. The secret was really the friends we made along the way. Stories are mainly the middle part, after all. And that's where most of the good stuff is. That sounds like one of those stupid grown-up answers. Mom! Dad won't tell me what the secret is! Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, that one! <laughs> Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there. 